the Whakamimina. Uh, I'm passionate about the 1835 Declaration of Independence, Whakamininga, and the Whakaputanga flag, the 1835 flag, um, is all that history is here, the whole thing with it, and Mori Manukau, here, that's his Whakapapa, and ours, the Rogans and the Manukau's, with Rogan judges that put these titles together in the magistrate courts, okay, so that's in there. And also the um, books, all the books like this one I've put together. I've, put it, I've bound up all the documents with all the titles and everything that is going into the magistrate court in Auckland in the native Moai Crown, native magistrate grand jury court. Okay, so all these documents. I'm making a short file for the uh, Paramount Chiefs and they will have a condensed copy of the um, Whakameninga in its original state <coughs> um, I was trying to find the book never mind all my documents here to put everything together. You see this book here? That book there is all that I put together in Te Unga Waka Marae in Auckland and had it signed and notif notarized and then went up to Waitangi and they signed this book and all the other books they signed on the Marae, Titi Marae, and we even got the oath of allegiance and the crown in parliament here, the government, in this book, that I'm taking them to court. I'm taking John Key <coughs> to court, in our court, as an authority with this flag, the 1834 Whakameninga, a separate contract with the King from the 1835-1840 Te Tiriti or Waitangi, 1840, is the Queen's contract, separate Whakameninga from this, well this is the Whakameninga, this is the Whakameninga because that was created from um, the 13 chiefs of Ngāpui, no one else. The Hauraki comes into the 1835-1840 Te Tiriti, altered this, then into their contract. That's corrupted. The Maori land court corrupted this king's title. This is still fixed in statute law and extant or even more inside Westminster Court and Westminster Parliament. <clears throat> Our jurisdictions come from Westminster Magistrate Court and also Edinburgh Magistrate Court where Te Rawaikato, Wharahirehire, Manukau sold this country of New Zealand to King William IV Crown Corporation, Crown Land Patents was created in Edinburgh between Lieutenant William Simons, 23rd Regiment of the Royal British Navy in Scotland, and Te Rawaikato Wharahere Manukau, the only signatory in that private contract of Admiralty with that Lieutenant. So from then on, the President case was set right through the world in magistrate courts. That's why the biggest criminal court cases go into the magistrate court, not the High Court, because the High Court does not have jurisdiction of a king and his admiralty to form the original native titles right through the world. It's this flag only. It's come out of King George the Fourth, 
en tēnā wai katoa, whare, here, here, Manukau, the native of Rekohu country, or Rekohu Island, Chatham Islands, its name, was a country closest to Aotea New Zealand. In fact, they owned this country. And then the Cook Islanders were frequenting here at the same time. And they are up in Te Hapua with Paramount Chief Bundy, Waitai, and Manahi Parapara Mahini, Moriori. He's the Moriori. And for the Manukau, Mohini and Parapara, the oldest names in this country, <coughs> right here in the documents. And Bundy, Waitai, for Cook Island, the closest Cook Islands to here, not the Rarotonga, the Cook Islands, Aitutaki, and the Outer Islands. They were frequenting here. That's why they're up there in Te Hapua, Spirits Bay, and also in Waiapu um, County area of the province of Auckland at East Cape on our Uetaha Moai Wanoa land blocks. I can talk for myself. Others can talk for their own land blocks. Thank you very much. The Rogans married the Wanoas there and the Rogans, judges, married the Manukau's and that's how these two families have got that title. Sona in Edinburgh Magistrate Court and Westminster Magistrate Court, period. It's locked to those two kings. King William III created the eight-point star on this flag of St. Patrick's municipalities to collect the rent for the conquered king's land. <clears throat> right through the well. And King William IV came after that and commercialised it. He put the pound note to work from New York Stock Exchange that he created in his 50 years in the Navy and everything's Navy magistrate from one country to the other. The Christians asked, well, how did they handle big cases over a million and a trillion and a billion value. No one can do that, only a magistrate court, because they created all the laws of banks. This is a bank flag of commerce. This is a commerce flag of the king's royal revenue and the king's conquered lands and prized possessions. The queen, on the other hand, is just an administrator I'm going to sack her because I'm the contractor to the king as surrogate king to speak for the king because no one is speaking on this level. And that's what we're having this court case in Auckland on the 29th of September 2017 at 3 pm in a marae in Auckland. I've yet to book a marae can be any marae. The magistrate court is the man himself and the bag or briefcase with the files in it. Not all these files but condensed and they have the main part is it has the magistrate court's law and rules in it. It has the acts of Westminster Parliament from King George IV period <coughs> and King William III period. 1650 to 1701 period of King William III for this eight-point star. Now you'll see that John Key is mischievous to wear the eight-point star and cannot prove where he gets his authority from for wearing it. We're going to put him on the court. He's the first up on the court to explain. He's got to turn up. If he doesn't turn up in silence, He's not immune from Parliament. He's not immune from the new job he's got in the um, airline department in, in Australia. He's not immune from the bank, Panama Papers, 
These are all the allegations are made against you, John Key. I've got you in a box. You can't take it off because the magistrate court have got their eye on. They are our partners, our legal partners, in this court hearing in Auckland, in our court. Now, I'm looking at the set of rules that high courts or any court, district courts, I can go and hire the court at midnight and run my cases at midnight, any time from midnight to daytime hours. So that's on the cards. But in any case, the Marae is the highest court of the land under this flag in this jurisdiction. Now I'm saying to uh, Te Poroho, Luka, the Kōkākō, do not mix jurisdictions of your Whakamininga, 1835, Declaration of Independence Flag. It has no legal authority. It's been wiped out and extinguished by this government in Wellington, the New Zealand Company, corporation, private company. They got rid of it and put their 1840 treaty there. That's fraud as well. I'm showing it up in the court. I'm showing up how they fabricated the Manukau's title in Edinburgh, then changed the names of Reva, Reva Reva Manukau, and Hongiga, put Reva there. His real name is Reva Reva Manukau, the ancestor Tira Waikato's descendant, direct. He took over and controlled the Marais. He was jumping from one marae to the other. I got it all recorded for Mohi Manukau. Before he died, he left everything with me to take his legacy in his Freemason side of the <coughs> 50 years he had in Freemasons in Helensville, Awaroa, Native Magistrate Court, and that formed the new Auckland province, right to the East Cape on the Whakawhitira Native Magistrate Court. And Captain James Reddy Clendon linked that Magistrate Court, Native Magistrate Court, to the Aoroa Magistrate Court in Helensville, where Mohi Manukau worked with his grandfather, John Rogan, and linked to, this is what um, Captain James Reddy Clendon did, as a magistrate, a man is a magistrate, with his box in his filing cabinet that he carries around portable court. That's a magistrate. He's on his two legs. And he travelled around up back up to Okiato Native Magistrate Court in Kororareka, Russell Bay of Islands. Okay, so those are the three magistrate courts of this country jurisdiction that I'm working in under the Moai Crown. King William Fourth Trust. Okay, that trust is a creditor. It is the creditor against you, John Key. You liable, the Queen, you liable, all the corporate crown agents in this country and the Pacific Islands and the world for that matter with the Panama Papers. Wherever the Panama Papers went, we're putting you into court. We put the figure on it. A billion trillion pound note on your head here over this country. That's just that. That's not anything else. There's a trillion pounds on each one's head. Yours is higher than everybody else's. But everyone, all those police that arrested me in this house, you're liable. I warned you, I warned Natalie Flower Dew Brown, CIB, police detective, don't touch my documents, or me. She ripped my shirt off and took it, and they've still got it in Auckland Central Police Station as evidence. I'm holding it there as evidence that they <coughs> created treason against the King's surrogate in Britain, UK, Parliament and Government and Westminster Magistrate Court. you got a bounty in your head, the whole lot of you. You liable, the whole police force, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, I warned you here, 
I want you here. I make videos. I've got a site on Facebook just for you. And I've got a site on Facebook just for you too, John Key. And Sean Elias, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, she's on there on your documents as well, wanted. Got a trillion pounds on her head. I'm going to write the pound note. We have the right to print money over your head and over all the fraud in this country. We're taking it, taking, and we're salvaging Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, because I've been on that case since 2008 with Moody Manukau. He wanted his land back. He wanted his land back. I'm getting his land back because it's a Manukau title in Edinburgh that you can't prove where you got your authority from to be on the Manukau land here, Moriori. Okay, I'll make myself clear on this video because I'm fit and well to take on anyone in your government. In Wellington and the Crown Corporation and Donald Trump, he's in the racket as well. Don't try and forge your way, Donald Trump. Don't forge your way into that Philippines where you've hidden the gold from 9-11. It's sitting over there. Mohi and Moai is up there watching me, telling me where things are. So, we have all that above watching you mischievous people, pirates and thugs. You're all in the same boat. Hillary Clinton, you, the same vein of Scottish, Irish and French and Roman Catholics racketing in America on behalf of the Queen, the fraudulent Rothschild banks, the family themselves have got a 970 million trillion trillion pound note, a single pound note on their heads and all they've taken illegally from this flag and have corrupted the law in Westminster and this country in New Zealand and all Commonwealth countries in the world from this native court title. There's no such thing as Maori. There's no such thing as Iwi tribes. It was invented by the white man in the Queen Elizabeth, Queen Victoria Crown Corporations. Private trust. Their own private interest. John Key, you can't hide in Australia because the sheriff is coming to get you. He's going to lock you up and take all your property outright because this flag can do that. It is a power of its own creation and it's for you to defend yourself. If you don't turn up in this court on that day, I'm making this public, if you don't turn up in the Ungawaka, the Ungawaka Marae in Epsom, corner of Clyde Street and Manukau Road, that's where I've always held the hui's for these documents, all these books. The name's in here. In these documents signed and all your parliament is in here it's signed signed here at Waitangi right all these books have been signed and countersigned from this Marae Kimuaka Marae and taken up to Kiti Marae in front of the chiefs up there and they've signed it and countersigned it. All in here. Everything. And there's your parliament in there. Your face is in there, John Key. Your government is in here for committing fraud. And now you're setting up, stealing this flag, the eight point star, and trying to make Prince William the king. King of what? You can't have a king of Britain, UK, because Ernest Augustus V is the king of Britain, UK, that we have petitioned him into Westminster from our meeting and a 21 gun salute on Titi Marai on 6th of February 2017 this year.
were sworn it in a magistrate navy court, native court. <coughs> the Maui Crown Native Grand Jury Magistrate Court passed the laws there to nominate King Ernest Augustus V. He is already the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover, and New Zealand, Pacific Islands, period, and the Commonwealth countries of the world, because we put it there. We have the right, the first right of contract. We have the contract in this flag as receipt of a two-way contract party partnership with the ship of Admiralty of King William IV, King William III, and St. Patrick's Eight Point Star Ground Rent Collection Agency and fines and administrative costs through municipality, which is the Eight Point Star on our flag, in the four corners of the earth, north, east, south, west, and the blue admiralty of the sea and the blue sky claim the whole lot. That's our private commercial contract. I'm telling you, John Key. Your mischievous and your abhorrent behaviour to try and put a fern flag over this country and steal the Maui statue in the, the games in Cardiff with the All Blacks, trying to make the All Blacks to make yourself the king here. No, we're going to catch you. You're on the stand and we're going to lock you up in the Queen because I'm. By the time I get there, so that's why she won't abdicate to Prince Charles or Prince William because they have no status when we've got this flag in front of us. He can't claim he's not a King William of Dutch origins. This flag is...